the first step in any ballet class is plies. Plie means to bend or bending. So typically when you're first learning, if you're a little kid, you learn that you're bending your knees and that's why it's called plie. But it's so much more than that. It's really a full body workout if you're doing it correctly. So let's just talk about the basics though, right? So plie means to bend. You are bending your knees. So in first position, in a demi-plie, you're just bending your knees and coming back, right? And typically, a demi-plie should just take two counts. So you're going down one and then up on two, right? And a grand plie will typically take four counts. So you're going through the demi, one, but then you go so far that your heels come off two, heels reconnect three, and then straighten on four. So let's take a look at it from this side. You have your posture, you have everything in a line, and I typically, when you're first beginning, I actually recommend that you do these facing the bar so you don't have to worry about your arms at all. You're really just focusing on your legs and your alignment. But we can put one hand on our hip to create the same thing. You're going down to come up. But it's not just that you're bending your knees because you don't want it to be like a drop of all of your weight down. You actually kind of want to resist going down and resist coming up. It's a circular energy, right? So you're pulling your body up as you go down, and then you're pushing the floor away as you come up. So there's this circle of going down to come up, right? And we'll talk about this circular energy a lot. You want to think about the energy always coming down your center line and out, and then it's feeding back into your body to come down again and go up. When you're doing your dining plies, you want to think about rotating from your hips so you're pressing the backs of your thighs out, and then they're shaping back, squeezing. So from the back, you have plie, and you're thinking about the backs of your thighs coming together and squeezing in and forward. So your legs are actually wrapping out from the inside and then coming through again to come forward. So there's a circular energy here, there's also circular energy going out and back forward. Like you could take the two halves of your body through your center line and open them up and bring them around. In demi-plie, you're going to always keep your heels on the ground. Make sure that you don't bring your heels up, but that you're feeling those heels connected to the ground and you're just lowering and lifting your body with that circular energy, kind of like if you were riding an elevator. Down. And up. You could also think about a wall against your back to maintain that straight line. So you're going straight down the wall and straight up the wall. Thinking about the backs of your shoulders and the backs of your hips touching the wall. So in all positions in the demi plate, you'll keep your heels attached to the ground. In second position, grand plie, you will also keep your heels on the ground. But in first position, fourth position, and fifth position, when you go into ground plie, your heels will lift off the ground. Now, this can be a little bit tricky. I see people lift their heels too early or keep their heels up for too long. So you really have to go back and think about why your heels are going to lift from the ground. The reason that your heels lift from the ground in ground plie is because they have to. Anatomically, you can't go all the way down. So you have to go as far as you can go with your heels attached. And then when you can't go any further, that's when your heels lift up and then they reconnect as soon as they can, right? So you almost wanna think if there was magnets on the bottom of your heels, you're going down, 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 and then you have to pull the heels off and then they reconnect as soon as possible. So sometimes, You'll see people going into ground plie and they'll lift their heels too high. So you don't want that to happen. Or they'll, they'll keep them here all the way and then reconnect them at the last minute. But you really don't want to do that. You just have to think about going as far as you can until your heels have to come off and then they reconnect and you come all the way up. In second position, you don't have to bring your heels off the ground because you can make it into a full ground plie while keeping your heels attached.
the depth of everyone's denny plie will be different. It all depends on many different things. Some people have a really deep denny plie, they can go really far. Some people have a really short denny plie, but it's your depth of denny plie that you want to go to. And then you want to make sure from the side angle, like I said, like you're riding an elevator or sliding down a wall, when you do this grand plie, that you don't allow your body to come out of alignment. Lean forward or let your butt come out. You want to think about everything's stacked on top of each other. You're riding it straight down and coming straight up. Yeah? Same thing in second position. Straight down and straight up. Sometimes when we add the quarter rod in the arm, people get a little bit too into it and then they'll bring it forward. But the moment that your shoulders come out of alignment, that's not good. You want to keep it back. So we have our building blocks here from, you know, our ear is in line with our shoulder, our shoulder is in line with our hip, hip is in line with our knee, and our knee is in line with our ankle. These are your building blocks, and you're trying to stack them all on top of each other. You have to be careful that if you're over-rotating and using more turnout than you actually have, that your knees don't come forward so they're no longer in alignment with your toes. Whenever you're doing your plies, you want to make sure that your knees drop right over your toes. Yes, yeah, so you're feeling the backs of your thighs open up and squeeze, but that knee always has to fall right over the toe. You can't let your knees come forward. That's asking for injury. Another thing that I see in second position is sometimes if people are overly flexible or they're just really getting into that grand plie, they'll let their pelvis drop down below their knees. This is no longer grand plie. This becomes a squat, right? So you have to make sure that the bottom of your grand plie doesn't go past your knees. So you do a grand plie in second position, it's, your pelvis will just come in alignment with your knees and then straight back up. Yeah, and from the side, that would look like that, right? And we don't want to drop down at the bottom of your grand plie, you want to stay lifted and controlled through that grand plie. This also can happen in first or fifth. You see it a lot in fifth where someone does a grand plie and they let their butt touch their heel and then they kind of sit at the bottom, right? But you should be using your inner thighs to help lift you off of your heels. And when you go down, you stay lifted and then you're pushing those heels in, right? You never let your bottom go all the way down to touch your heels. Same thing in first position. Don't drop and relax so that your thighs are touching your calves. You still have space there. When you go down, you're lifting your legs out and then coming back in. For beginner students, I typically will have you face the bar or put one hand on your hip. Eventually, you can get to where you have your arm in second position. But then eventually you're going to want to do the port bra that comes with plies. And now that's going to be up to your teacher. Everyone has different plies. But there is a basic first port bra that happens a lot of times with plies. So, start in first position, arms are bra, preparation arms on first, open to second, take the bar. Your first in plie, you're going to reach out and plie, bring the arm down to bra bra as you squeeze your legs together. Second demi plie through the first, open to second, and then grand plie all the way through that, all the way down, through, open. So you go reach and squeeze. Through first and squeeze. Reach and down and first and open. 